Greetings everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and of course to Dapperdale Farm where it is the 13th of winter, it is a Saturday which means that we can, I think, go and check out the merchant. We've got no diamonds yet. What's on the telly? Fortune teller. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Oh, well that's not so great. Weather report. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Very well, I will expect a few inches of snow tomorrow as you told me to. Uh, we need, uh, you know what, no. I'm going to go and see if maybe there are some. Ooh, haha! If there are a couple of uh, bottles of wine. I was thinking, life's too short to eat bad food. Luckily, we live in one of the best regions for fresh greens and vegetables. Also, my farm is awesome. Yeah, I made you a healthy salad. Oh, thank you very much. I'm surprised you aren't sick of my salad yet. I will never get sick of your cooking. Hello. Well, I mean, you don't, don't cook a salad per se, you prepare it, but Gwen is sleeping. Uh, I will be back in a little while. In fact, let me uh, first eat this delicious salad. Nom! Ah, look at that, it has completely restored my energy. Now I shall nom this, so I move fast. Meow! Oh, actually, it didn't completely restore my energy. Alright, I've got another challenge for you. Catch me a lingcod. They don't go down easy, but I know you can do it. Uh, where am I going to find one of those? I have no idea where I meant to find said lingcod. Uh, thank you very much, Akasha. No. There we go. How are you doing? Alright, will we be able to go and get our tools today? I'm not sure. Hello, my lovelies. How are you all doing? Now, unfortunately, it is going to be time for one of you beauties to leave us. I need to make room for our dinosaur. It's probably for the best, honestly, because I'm not, not sure entirely what a dinosaur eats. And, I mean, almost everything eats chicken. Almost everything. Even chickens eat chicken. That little factoid has still... I, I've not recovered. Jack... You are at full hearts, which means we'll get the most money for you. So, goodbye, Jack. It has been a pleasure to have you in the barn. Or rather, it... Oh, what? What? You just... Jack! Jack was a witch chicken! This is the only explanation for it to puff in... Uh, go poof in a bunch of green smoke. I mean, the, the real tell there was the green smoke. It wasn't just smoke, it was green smoke. Ooh. We have got a lot of wine. This is fantastic. One will be for Leah. And one will also be for Harvey, actually. I think we shall get Harvey some uh, really, really expensive wine. I'm hoping that means that it's going to be very, very nice wine. Um, there we go. And... Someone in the comments mentioned that Harvey happens to like wine, and it makes a lot of sense, actually, because uh, wine is fairly good in moderate amounts. It's, it's pretty good for your heart, I understand. Uh, let's go ahead, get all this down. Most things are good for you in moderation. That doesn't mean you should go and try most things, because I'm certain you can find something that's not good in any any amount. Like, I don't know, arsenic. Arsenic is probably not good no matter how moderate a consumption you have. But most, you know, things like alcohol, which people give a real hard time, yeah, it's, it's actually good for you as long as you don't go overboard. Don't binge drink, basically. Uh, right, we want to drop off some rubbish as well. There we go. Actually, we'll get rid of both of those. And I'll sort out the rest in a little bit. Uh, no, that's not put... Uh, well, actually, no, we will put it in there since I've already got some other things in there. Grab this milk. That can go over there. There we are. Alright, I would like all of this sorted. Is there anything I want to do there? No, not really. What about down here? Uh, not particularly. Over here, perhaps. We can drop that off. Sort it all out. We'll grab these because we will have an opportunity to go take them to Clint. Uh, catch a link card. Wanted lobster. Damn it! All these things that are going to be hard for me to do. Uh, I've got pumpkins in my inventory. 
I'm kind of alright with that, actually, thinking about it. I Yeah, I'm okay with having that in our inventory. We've got a lucky lunch as well. Hmm. And trout soup. Might be another day for fishing, actually. Let's go and say hello to the slimes. Hello, slimes. Have some water. There we go. So easy to water you guys now. And it looks so nice in there. The day I walk in there, and it happens to be that... Uh, it has, uh, the wall is broken down, and it's going to be a bad day, I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm just going to come in and water, oh my god, my face, why, I'm melting. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Evelina. Barney, do you have milk? No, neither of you do. Ooh, that was bad of me. It's been a few days since I last recorded Stardew, so I flat out forgot whether I had gotten any milk from the goats yesterday, though uh, Mumu could chew. Didn't have any milk anyway. There we go. And there we go as well. Now, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could sell one of the, the cows in order to allow another cow to start... Um, one of the other cows to give birth. You know, this, this is it's tempting. It's a it's a source of money that way, but I'm not entirely sure about it. Uh, I, at the moment, I've actually got a lot of plans for the way that I'm going to design the next farm. And everywhere I look at the moment in this farm, I see how I want to do it differently. And it's a little bit distracting. I must be, I must be honest. It is distracting me a tad. Uh, let's grab a U and one of these as well. Right, it is now high time for us to leave. So uh, let's be off a cashier. We'll go see if there is a merchant. If not, then we will head into town. We will be doing some more fishing today. I'm not really sure where I'm going to fish. I might actually even go down into the caves and, uh, and fish. Simply because I don't fish down there particularly often. But hopefully, it will give me plenty of time to get the fish. And someone mentioned that if you don't hoe the ground, the trees won't grow. But these trees grew, despite not having hoed the ground. If the local fishing scene got a little bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. Willie, that's a lie. Let's be honest, you can't expand it any more than you already have. Hello, guys. How's it going? I just remembered I need to change the strings on my guitar. Okay, I'm going to write a note on my wrist. <laughs> Oh man, the days of writing notes on my hands. Long, long gone are those days. It never really helped anyway. I, I, I'm so oblivious to things. Like, if the note's been there for more than an hour, my brain's already started to filter it out. It's used to it at that point. I have to make little reminders for myself, or else I'll totally forget to do things. Yeah, no, it goes. I like the winter, but I do feel bad for all the cold animals out there. Trust me, most animals that, that stay awake during the winter are perfectly equipped to deal with it. Hello! Where's my favorite Shadow Brute? Here we go. Oh no! Scallywags! Why? No, no, stop trying to give gifts. I want to buy things. Oh. Hmm. That's nice. I'm not going to buy it though. Um, but I will buy everything else. Thank you very much, Krobus. I hope you have a lovely day. Down there in the sewers because you don't like the light. I've never seen Krobus out and about in the in the night though, which is odd because I would have assumed that that's where Krobus would, you know, steal out into the village. Explore the lands above, etc, etc. Maybe it isn't just light, maybe it's just flat out Krobus doesn't like being outside. Hello Clint. Damn it, I'm too old to do uh, anything exciting anymore. All I have to look forward to is the years and years of sweaty hot furnace work. Uh, okay. Da 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 da! Iridium Ho! You received an Iridium Ho. Time now for me to do a little bit more work. We are going to process some geodes. And then I'm going to have you upgrade my pickaxe, I think. There we go. We're going to go through all of these geodes if we can. Find all of the great stuff. Ooh, what's that? Obsidian. Have I gotten obsidian before? I don't think I have. How marvellous. Lemon stone. I know I've gotten that before. A dwarvish computer. Some copper. Okay. I can't do any more. Now, let's go ahead and see if I can just sell these. Oh, pardon me. 
I do apologize. Um, any of these? Ganther can tell me about Obsidian, yeah. I haven't seen Obsidian before. Interesting. Very interesting. Yep, okay. Right, well, we can sell these straight away then. Donk, donk. Ah, uh, sure, I'll sell the fire course. I really don't need it. And the Jasper as well. Thank you. Let's go ahead and process some more geodes. I've only got five of these now to go. Ah, damn it, gold. You're precious enough that I w don't want to get rid of you. Some more coal. A moon. Uh, basalt, sorry. I thought that was like a moon rock or something. Okay, thank you. Let's see. We've got that one. We've got that one. Let's see. Oh, then I can quickly go ahead and sell those. I'm going to sell the copper. There's really no point in me keeping hold of that. There we are. And let's go ahead and process some more of these geodes. What a waste. I know we've already got that one, hematite. And the fire quartz as well. <gasps> Seriously? I just got a prism stone out of an omni geode? I didn't realize you could do that. <sighs> well, I wonder how much it's worth. Sure, I'll find out. Two thousand. It's actually worth a lot less than I was expecting. <laughs> now I've been told that unfortunately you can't um, put the prismatic shard in the crystallarium. That is a shame because that is exactly what I would have done. Alas, it is a no on that. Esperite, I'm fairly certain we've seen before. Another bloody dwarvish computer. But at least that stacks. Oh, some iridium. That's okay. Oh, I have no room in my inventory for that. Sharp. We will get rid of the asperite and the copper. Uh, we may as well keep the iridium. Because we're probably going to get a little bit more of that. Ooh. Opal. I'm fairly certain we've seen opals before. Let's just double check. Yeah, we have. It's actually turning into a fairly profitable little venture here. And only two more. Pomp. And pomp. There we go. We can get rid of this as well. The Hellvite. Bye. Now, I would like you to upgrade my pickaxe. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Thank you very much, my good man. Uh, ha 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 You're not safe anymore. Oh. It would have been nice if perhaps I would have had a higher chance of getting something truly awesome because I was using an Iridium hoe to do it. Oh, yes. Hello, Gunther. I would like to donate something to mu the museum, please. I'll pop it over there. Okay. There we are. Let's go and uh, chat with Elliot. Hi, Elliot. I've been doing a little indoor exercise since it's often too cold to go out. Sorry if it's a little humid in the cabin. <laughs> it's all right. It's good that you're taking care of your your body. Taking better care of your body than you do your hair, apparently. Right. Now, we may or may not have some... Um... Some crabs or oysters or something. Lobsters, rather. Maybe oysters, I don't know. In the crab pots that we've got down here. But before I go to those, I make use of the fact that I've got. Oh, a dried sausage. Uh, the fact that I've got my hoe with me. Hello, seagull girls. And uh, some coral as well. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of things that we can uh, drop off. Now, it is particularly useful for me to gather forage, simply because I get two of it most times, so it's well worth the effort. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but there's lobsters that you want. Um, well, we're just going to have to wait then. I'm going to need to take... There's my fishing rod. Reload these and wait, and hopefully get some lobsters soon. There we go. Inventory is almost completely full, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. 
Right, now I must remember, got to save at least one of my bottles of wine for Harvey. Harvey's birthday. Hello there. Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? Yes, I do. Why do you ask? I like that dish quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I I admire how uh, how forward you are with that, Emily. I have a craving for bream. Mm, it's very unlikely I'm going to get that, or that I'm going to be able to get it to you, Sandy, I'm afraid. All right, I would like to sell most of those. Thank you. And all of those as well. One of the duck feathers, two of the rabbit's feet. All right, not bad. Thank you. All right, let's head back now. We need to give one bottle of wine to Leah, as we didn't give her a goat's cheese today. I don't want to just give her goat's cheese every single day. That's it's going to be very boring for her. Uh, we can drop off the coral. Uh, yeah, we've already used that one. Uh, that is, the artifact has already been... I'm just going to sell that trash today. Uh, the colour can go as well. The stone can stay on us, since I do have a use for that shortly. Alright, Akasha, if you can just hang there for me for a moment. Thank you. Uh, let's drop off... No, we've got everything. Leah, there we are. Here you go. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You are more than welcome. Ah, oh, Gwen is rolling. In her sleep. Right, let's head on back. Uh, we'll drop off most of these things on the way, I think. I know we've still got a lot of stuff to do there as well. Uh, well, actually, that being said, I probably should get rid of some of this. Because I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory that I just don't need. I should have dropped this off when I was there. I'll drop these off as well. Oh, we're good. Right, we'll head down to the industrial area, drop some things off. Now, I'm only going to the mines in order to fish, so I'm not particularly worried about how late I'm going. It's not that big of an issue to me, honestly. Uh, we'll drop that off as well. Drop this off. Crocus can go up there. these on the way. And we have enough eggs to fill the rest up. Actually, I should save that white egg, thinking about it. I want to put it in the fridge. It just seems that there's no particular difference between the types of eggs, so you might as well just pick a type of egg, whichever one you get the most of, and just only use that one in, in your fridge. It seems to make a lot more sense like that. Right, I will drop off the eggs on the way. I will visit the produce bin. Wow, it's 6pm already. My lord. Drop off some cheese. Oh no, where's my eggs? Ah, poop. I don't know what I did with them. I was talking about not getting rid of them, and it looks like I may have. Ah, classic Abbe. Right, there we go. Right. Off we go. Akasha, if you could be a darling and just let me hop off by the minecart and wait for me. I shall be back shortly. Oh, I forgot to bring anything for the dwarf. What a scallywag I am. Oh, wow. There's loads of stuff there as well. Double scallywag. Right. Was 95 the right one? Ah! No, 95 was not the right one. Apparently, I have been mistaken. Is it 90? Nope. Is it 80? Mm, 85? Uh, 100? Ah, ha, ha! It's been a long time. Give me a break. <laughs> oh my lord, it took me forever to find this place. Right, okay. I don't want my trap bobber for this one. Uh, I will go ahead and gobble down my trap suit, though. There we go. <sighs> right. Uh, see what we can get. We've got a broken seat. How did that get so deep into the mines? Into this blood lake? Really? Uh, Georgia Cola, that makes perfect sense to be found in a lake in hell. That's fine. 
Annoying, but it does make sense. Okay, mostly annoying now, even though it does still make sense. I blame Jojo Mart for almost all of this, by the way. Ooh, calm down. Nope. Nope. Calm yourself. No. No, come on. No, come on. We will win. I'm remarkably stubborn. We have caught a lava eel that lives in a blood lake. Because this is not lava. It moves far too fast. If this was lava, for the rock to be this this um, energetic, the heat here would have melted me the moment I got out of the lift. I would just be a pub puddle of flesh and flames, because, you know, the fat that makes up whatever you know percentage of my body would have just caught on fire and started acting like a fuel. This 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 is not lava. No, I refuse. This is blood. Also, it's full of Jojo Cola. I mean, if this was lava, Jojo Cola would not have survived. I mean, maybe the cola would have because it's made of eldritch horrors, but the can is made of tin. It wouldn't have survived. Nor would this broken CD, though. It would explain why it's broken. Um, just, you know, not why it's not melted. Uh, rough day in the mines. Rough day. Because I'm fairly certain that catching trash does not cause your fishing skill to rise. Only catching fish. Georgia Cola. Newspaper. Some uh, investigative journalist had tracked down Georgia Cola and was reporting on their underhanded waste disposal methods. And then they and the report ended up in this lake. Georgia Mart would have you believe that was in fact an accident, a tragedy, their spokesman would have reported. But we all know the truth. Morris pushed them after making sure they were wearing concrete ankle bracelets. This is why there's there's no fish down here. It's full of bloody trash. My fishing tackle is worn, worn out on catching trash. I actually feel sorry for the lava eels. All like three of them that have managed to survive. The other two are, are huddled away at the moment. Ooh, that was a mistake. This is going to be the last one, I think. Uh, fine. That was poop. I'm not afraid to say it either. It was so poop that I'm, go I'm going to go and try and murder things to show how frustrated I am. Only I can't. There is nothing here to murder. I can go down the next level, though. I can't mine, you see, so I may as well just run around attacking things. No. Absolutely not. Anything else? You. You'll do. Thank you. I should leave. I really should. Um, I really should. Why I'm not? I've known 281? My lord. That was quite the critical hit. Quite the critical hit. Hello. Thank you. Right, it's time for me to go. It's 12.50. Leave the mine. Uh, how much of this uh, stuff can we pick up? Not much. Anything in here that I can pick up? No. Okay. Well, we'll leave the Georgia Cola and I will take the Cave Cats. We will leave the Broken CDs. I'll take the Door Scroll. We'll leave the Glasses. I'll take the Slime. We'll leave the Driftwood. I'll take the Fiber. Um, I'll also take the Clay and I'll take the Wood. Uh, we'll leave this and I will take the Copper and the White Algae. Alright. 
Good enough for me. To the bus stop. Akasha, show me the meaning of haste. Thank you very much, Akasha. Right. Don't want you, 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 you. Ugh, I still have some trash, damn it. Um, the Dwarf Scroll can go, the Fiber can go, the Holly can also go, and the White Algae can as well. Okay, Kasha, you can tuck down for the night now. Thank you very much. I didn't go to the Greenhouse. Uh, it doesn't matter too much at the moment, but I am going to have to spend some time making sure that I replenish all of my Starfruit stocks and by uh, putting them into the Seed Maker. Something about this time of night makes me thirsty. Uh, okay. Uh, I've already given you a gift, I'm afraid. I would give you a bottle of wine if I could, but alas. Right, okay. We made, a, you know, a decent amount, considering it was mostly just faffing around in the mines, catching Joja Cola. Okay, well, that is it for this episode. Today is Harvey's birthday, so we are going to be making sure to give him a bottle of starfruit wine. Very expensive gift, but uh, it's fine. We're starting to get on with Harvey, actually. I'm fairly certain that our heart level with Harvey has started to increase. Uh, where are you, Harvey? Yeah, it's at four hearts, which is actually quite nice. Um, so hopefully the Starfruit wine will maybe even get us up to five hearts. That would be pretty cool. We do need to continue working on getting Sandy's hearts up. Also, Willie, Kent, Vincent, Krobus, and Jazz. I'm fairly certain we're going to be able to get Jazz and Krobus up to ten hearts before the end of winter. And I'm fairly certain that we'll be able to do that. Vincent uh, might be a bit of a push, but we'll, we'll see what we can do with the amount of grapes we've got. Uh, Harvey... Getting Harvey up to 8 hearts will be a challenge, but I don't think it's beyond us, especially considering that Harvey's got a birthday and we're about to give him a really, really good gift. Um, Kent, I have no idea. I actually think Kent's going to be harder to get up to 10 hearts than Willy will be to get up to 10 hearts, despite the fact that Kent is already a little bit further ahead, and there's no way we're going to do it with the dwarf. Absolutely no way. Though, we might end up with the dwarf a little bit higher than Sandy simply because the dwarf is closer. It's just me remembering to go and give him a gift every day. But that will be it for now. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, any feedback is warmly welcomed in the comment section below. But until next time, do take care, everyone. <laughs>